Hello everyone and welcome back for another Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be delving into the history and mystery surrounding one of the world's largest surviving convict prisons. Located on the terrace in Fremantle and boasting the reputation of acting as one of only four World Heritage Sites in the whole of Western Australia, are you ready to explore the infamous Fremantle Prison? Historically, some of the first transport ships loaded with convicts arrived at Fremantle Harbour in 1850. By 1852, a holding site called the Convict Establishment was constructed. In 1855, prisoners from the site were moved to a main cell block, and in 1859, the base to Fremantle Prison was completed. Initially, the facility was utilized to house convicts from Britain, and in 1867, its title would change to Fremantle Prison. In 1868, the prison would accommodate its final transport ship, and later in 1886 would be repurposed by the colonial government for use in housing local criminals instead. Through both world wars, the Australian Defence Department would sequester portions of the old lockup as a military defence centre for both military prisoners and POWs. Beginning in 1970, female prisoners on site were transferred to a new facility, and following a series of riots, building tensions, and declining prison conditions, in 1983, a royal commission would recommend Fremantle's closure. Following years of unrest, in 1988, a massive riot would result in guards being taken hostage, and a fire worth around $2 million in repair work. And in 1991, the site would officially close its doors, with remaining prisoners being transferred to Casuarina Prison. In 1992, Fremantle would reopen its gates, but this time, not for prisoners, but rather as a tourist attraction and historic landmark. Across its 15-acre expanse, one can enter the old jail cell blocks, gatehouse, perimeter walls, cottages, and tunnels. And tours of the paranormal variety, as well as overnight stays, are available for those feeling really brave. Through its dark past, Fremantle acted as stage to countless hangings, floggings, escape attempts, riots, murders, and worse. With its inmate populace consisting of imperial convicts, colonial prisoners, prisoners of war, and maximum security detainees. And paranormal activity across its grounds is said to get so intense that even some skeptics refuse to step foot on the property after dark. A total of 44 individuals were hanged from the gallows, and near them, many report dangling shadowy figures, extreme cold spots, and the disembodied sounds of jingling keys. Within the old morgue, electronic malfunctions and abnormal battery death rates are all but common, with some paranormal researchers claiming the spirits there don't want to be documented. One popular legend tells of a woman named Martha Rendell, who was convicted of murdering her three stepchildren, and who was the only female prisoner ever to be executed at Fremantle. Chillingly, her face has been known to materialize within the chapel windows, startling any near. Across the whole of the site, both officials and visitors have reported encounters with shadowy figures that stalk the living, accounts of cell doors opening and closing on their own, orbs and strange mists visible to the naked eye, the phantom sensations of being touched, grabbed, or even hit, and run-ins with a spectral guard, always spied seemingly following through with rounds long lost to time. Lastly, activity near and inside of the solitary confinement area is said to get downright terrifying at times. With with those who've entered reporting disembodied shrieks, whispers from the darkness, unnatural breezes, and encounters with a looming dark presence with glowing red eyes. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Good night.